Hey guys, welcome back to the Hustlin' Horsepower YouTube channel. I appreciate everyone that's gone to hustlinhorsepower.com and ordered the new merchandise. This is the first merchandise for a straight gangster. We appreciate all of you that are liking and subscribing to the journey and supporting the journey in any way, shape, or form. This weekend, we are headed to South Mountain Dragway in Boiling Springs, Pennsylvania, Southeast Pennsylvania, close to Delaware, Maryland, all that. It's a 64 car shootout put on by Drag or Die and to my knowledge, it is a full field, so it's going to be one heck of a drag race. And uh, Straight Gangster did pretty good in testing here, which this video is all about. We are also on the hunt for a 36-foot long tag trailer. Uh, eight or nine foot interior height, possibly go seven and a half foot interior height. So then we could have enough room to haul the merchandise and spare parts and two vehicles because we have something... Um, on the line that's going to be coming up here before too long but i'm not exactly sure when we're old now and say maybe maybe the beginning of june we'll tell you about the new project that we are going to be starting on i appreciate it here's the video guys hey guys welcome back to the hustling horsepower youtube channel i appreciate everyone that likes and subscribes comments um all that stuff is uh very beneficial you don't necessarily have to buy merchandise um to support the journey just a like comment subscribe uh grow grow the uh social media stuff a little bit more we're, uh, we're pretty close to 20,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube, and uh, I think that's a pretty good chance. There's a chance that we can hit that by the end of May. So uh, we got a couple races coming up, uh, but today I slept in a little bit. Slept until probably about 9.30 or so. Uh, I didn't sleep the best, so it, like, it wasn't a great night's sleep. But I tried to go to bed at a reasonable hour because I'm probably going testing tonight. It's Thursday. Probably going testing tonight. Um possibly out at Greer Dragway in South Carolina. It's only about 20 minutes longer, uh, further away, uh, drive time versus Shady Side. Um, Shady Side's a really cool track, but Shady Side, Shady Side's a fast, fast track. Um, Mooresville is a cool track, but driving to Mooresville, the way I have to go, kind of sucks at stop and go traffic, stop and go traffic, stop and go traffic. And so I might hit up a different uh, demographic and head out to Greer Dragway. A lot of the locals don't go, um, like, Greer Dragway is their, their local track on Thursday nights. So uh, I might head out there just to see uh, see a different facility and see different people and stuff like that. So uh, let's see here. I'm going to stop at Napa, grab a couple oil filters, do an oil change on straight gangster. What else are we going to do today? Um, my generator broke. So I might try to fix the generator. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it yet, but I'm going to get the car ready and uh, I'd have to leave leave here from Flying Hammer probably around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. I think the racing starts at 5 and it's about an hour and 15, hour and a half or so to get out to Greer Driveway. So, um, yeah, that's just going to be a little quick video. I'm going to go do a quick oil change on the car and uh, start it up, retighten up the header bolts, check over everything. Then I'll probably throw it in the trailer and uh, upload this video for y'all. So, guys, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, here's the next part of the video. So, guys, here we are doing an oil change on a straight gangster. The Napa Gold filters, I use the Napa Gold ones. Um, not sponsored by them or nothing like that. But uh, Wix filters makes, or Wix is the manufacturer of the Napa Golds, to my knowledge. Um, I used to have a, a price discount going to Napa. But uh, these suckers are fifteen dollars a piece now, so uh, I'm gonna have to find a I'm gonna have to find an account to be able to use again. But it is what it is. Um, it's all part all part of it. But see here, um, there's there's it's not perfectly like dark like a normal um, normal oil. But on the on this side over here, you can see that uh, it really helps keep a lot of the moisture out of the oil. Now when uh, if you've ever had a head gasket knock, get knocked out or anything like that, um, you'll see that um, your oil turns like really frothy and white. Um, it, do, it does similar things with methanol, a car that runs on alcohol, because um, the methanol gets in the oil and it doesn't evaporate. Well, when I put the vacuum on the back of the car, um, I hook it up to the puke tank and uh, I open up the breather cap and it sucks all the methanol vapors through the hose and out into the tank back there. And that helps... A cool the car down, but B um, helps keep the oil a lot cooler. You can see how you can see how dark the oil is here. 
you can see, you know, the top here, it's a little bit frothy and there, there's some wetness on there. So I'll be wiping off the valve covers and getting, uh, wiping out the moisture. But at the end of, if it's a hot day, I'll vacuum it during, during the, uh, during the event. If not, I get the water temperature up to, I don't know, 185, 190 degrees. And uh, I'll run the vacuum while I'm loading the trailer um, to help suck all that vapor out to keep the oil lasting as long as I can. But I'm going to go out here and knock this oil change out. Then uh, I think we're going to head out to Greer Dragway this evening, uh, make some test passes, probably just to the 3.30. But uh, thinking about that, I should probably go charge the GoPros. So, uh, yep, get off, get back, get busy. One more thing I want to tell you about on these gaskets I run, these are, uh, I believe these are Fell Pros, but uh, a couple companies make them. These are really good gaskets. You see that they're not flimsy. There's two layers of rubber in them, and there's a layer of steel. Sleepy's trying to say hi, but he's running into stuff. You can see the little steel inserts in there. That means you can't over-tighten the things. I run the same style um, gasket on the oil pan as well. So you could you could cinch down the valve cover gasket. It's pretty tight. The studs on them, um, I don't... Aluminum heads, I, I use studs on everything because... Um, Everything that you can, I, I should say at least. You can't use them on the intake manifold and stuff like that because the angles are on. But on everything I can, I try to use studs because then the threads aren't really working. Like you're not pulling on the threads out of the cylinder head and stuff like that. On an iron motor, well then the threads are the threads are plenty durable. They use bolts all the time, but um, I try to use studs on aluminum cylinder heads and stuff like that. Aluminum blocks and oil pans and so on and so forth. But... These steel inserts will really save you from over tightening a gasket and splitting the gasket. Plus the steel insert here and the high density, uh, high density rubber uh, really, really makes it nice to prevent oil leaks and stuff like that coming out of your valve covers. Because in a turbo application or any type of forced induction application, you're going to have a little bit of pressure in there. And that's why, that's why um, we run this big tube here. And you can see uh, this is a high point in the uh, breathing system. So you can see a little bit of discoloration in there from the, from the moisture. But for the most part, um, it's nothing, uh, nothing major because the oil is staying nice and clean. And believe it or not, we have, um, something like five, six events on this oil. And you can see how good it looks. That's from using the oil heater, um, and from using the oil heater and the, uh, vacuum to keep the, as much of the methanol moisture out of it as possible. So six events going, uh, semifinals or so finals in each event. That's probably like 30, 40 passes on, on this set of oil here. Um, that's a little bit stretching out a little bit, but I didn't have my hot shot secret oil that I normally run in the car. So uh, I was trying to stretch it out a little bit, but this time uh, I'm putting a mix of VR1 hot shots, um, mixture of VR1 hot shots, and I'm probably going to throw a, a quart of Duralube in it as well. Duralube is pretty good to uh, coating the material. Uh, Slick 50 is also a different one that I've used in the past, and uh, connecting rods and stuff like that, they feel slippery um, once you once you take them out of the motor. So, uh, yeah, get back after. Guys, here we are at Greer Dragway. It's my first time here. Uh, it should be a pretty cool deal. I'm testing just for uh, South Mountain Race coming up next weekend. That's thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars to win. Uh, they're a thirteen, fourteen thousand dollar pot. It'll probably be like I don't know, seven, eight ish to win and a few thousand for a second. But uh, there's a couple, of, there's a couple of bad rides here. But I'm gonna go up here and uh, check it out. Um, I've never been on this track before. It's a, it's a little bit of a different. Uh, it's a pretty cool. Animal. Pretty early in the day, the 
track just uh, went hot just a few minutes ago, but uh, as you can see, it's already starting to fill in here. This is in uh, Greer, South Carolina, uh, near Greenville, Spartanburg area. It's about uh, it's about an hour and a half south of Flying Hammer, so decided to shoot out here. This is not even a good crowd. Dude. It's gonna fill in here pretty good, but that's a uh, that's a lot of spectators right here for just a regular Thursday night, middle of the week. Uh, just test and tune deal, and there's a stick shape shootout going on. And I'm, I'm gonna help out this uh, this blue Camaro a little bit. See if uh, see see how far we can get in this stick shape stick shape shootout. So guys, I'm helping out this blue this blue Camaro here. The thing, uh, the thing, the looker, the thing is absolutely killer looking. Um, he pitted with me. Uh, here we over at Dig or Die, and uh, I'm gonna help him out a little bit today. See how far we can go in the stick shape shootout. I'm just out here doing some testing and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to see how far we can go here. second round uh, no prep tune-ups here so um, at least to the 330 so we're gonna get after it a little bit here uh, try to pick up that 60 foot um, three or four hundreds to the uh, 60 foot and that should be about a tenth faster to the uh, about a tenth faster or so to the uh, 330 and uh, they'll put us in a really good position for uh, this not this weekend in two days here, uh, about 10 days, South Mountain, Pennsylvania, uh, May 13th, Southeast Pennsylvania.
2 o'clock in the morning. Um, 150? Yep. Yeah. 150. I don't know if you can see it or not. It is 150 in the morning. Friday morning. And, uh, yeah. I got the Honda on charge because, uh, Sleepy left the battery on. Or left the key on playing music or something. I don't freaking know. So the Honda won't start. I was going to unload some of the stuff from the prison bus into the Honda so I could take it up to New York, but that's delayed. So I think I'm going to come in here and um, help out uh, Tom a little bit. Uh, he's helping me out, so help him out a little bit. I think I'm going to weld up a bunch of stuff here for him and then uh, nap for a few hours and then head out. My plan was to head out at 6 o'clock, but that's only four hours from now, so I don't know how the hell that's going to work out. So we'll see uh we'll see how that goes but headed out to greer dragway that was a pretty cool test session um maybe i'll drop the new artwork for straight gangster merchandise uh here i'll give you guys a little sneak peek i think i'll do that nah maybe i'll hold off i don't know i got it and it looks pretty dang good um but we went out to greer dragway drove out there by myself it was an hour and a half away or so and uh cool little track and that place was packed for Thursday night, weeknight, just normal testing to him. It was freaking cool. Um, I helped out a guy in a stick shift. Uh, he hit the tire a little bit too hard. He made some suspension changes, and um, we were getting towards um, full tight on the shocks, trying to control control the rear end, and it just wasn't uh, it just wasn't enough. So he needs to take a, a little bit of the anti squat out of the car, or get some different shocks. One of the two. But it is a stick shift car, so you gotta you gotta make that um, suspension work uh, long enough that it doesn't just knock the tire off in second gear. So uh, yeah, um, I made some pretty good hits. First hit, or I made two hits. I was getting ready to go make a third one, like a real one, but unfortunately there was an accident. The driver was okay, but they called the event a little bit early. But first and second hit, it did exactly what it asked it to. So I can't ask much more out of straight gangster from that. And uh, yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape for uh south mountain um next weekend i'm looking forward to that one it is three o'clock in the morning it's time to park this sucker and uh go lay down for a little bit i got the welding done now it's time to jump in the old prison bus lock her down and go to bed well guys if you want to stay around for a little bit later in the video i'm going to talk about what happened here but you can see when the car launches the front tire lifts up and then it sets down, then it goes a couple feet and lifts back up. And you can see that ribbon striping on the tires in the tracks right there. I'm going to explain all that later on in the video here. Uh, I don't know exactly what time that's going to be, but that's going to be towards the end of the video. I'm going to get into a little bit more detail of everything that went through there and what I have to do tuning-wise to make the car a little bit more happier in that section. Well, guys, this video is going to get a little bit long here and... Uh, it would cut down on the amount of time that I have to spend on talking about chassis management and power management to make the car as happy as it can be doing the snow prep stuff. So come back tomorrow, 5 or 6 p.m. on the Hustlin' Horsepower YouTube channel for the new video.